next step I call the step in Suzy Q. So we're going to step one, two, three, five, six, seven, one and two and Suzy Q, three and four and Suzy Q, then basic two, three, five, six, seven. If I show you this from this angle, so it's one, two, three, five, six, seven. Count and step and Suzy Q. Step and step and Suzy Q. And basic two, three, five, six, seven. So just to break down that step for you, what you're going to do is you're going to step over, over and back and over again. So your right foot will stay on the same spot. Okay, of course we'll step each time. So you bring your left foot over one and two and come back again. And it's at this point you do a Suzy Q, step, step, step. Placing your weight down onto your right foot. So we do the same, twist your body around. So we're gonna step again, step and step. Leaving the left foot in the same place and then Suzy Q again and then forward two, three. So I'll show you that again. So it's step and back. You see this is what I'm doing. I'm just stepping, keeping my right foot in the same place and just bringing my foot over and back into the step. And again, it's your body that's coming over and back. It's not, it's just sending your foot over and back. So bring your body forward, bring your body back, and then Suzy Q. And then again, bring your body over, bring your body back, and Suzy Q, and then forward, two, three, and five, six, Next step I'm going to do is called the star, or is what I call it. So we do a basic two, three, five, six, seven, one, kick, five, kick, and basic two, three, five, six, seven. So I'll show you that from the side. So again, so it's basic two, three, five, we're going to count. One, kick, five, kick, one, two, three, five, six, and seven. So let's just break that down. So let's do a basic first. One, two, three, five, six, seven. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my foot back this way. So I'm not going to bring it across. I'm actually going to bring it back on me slightly. So again, I can do the actual kick into the step. You see that? So my weight is on my right foot. So I brought the left foot there. I'm going to put my left foot down. As I put my left foot down, I kick back that one in tap. So it's kick and tap. You see that? Then from there, with your weight onto your left foot, you're going to bring your right foot back in this way. Again, it's past the foot, it's not in front. Past the foot, and you can do that again. Kick out that way, and then over, two, three, and five, six, seven. So your count will be, so, one, two, three, four. And then one, two, three, five, six, seven. So I'll show you that again. So if I'm doing a basic, I'll do it from here. So one, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Next step is a bit of a mouthful. I call it the Suzy Q spiral with the turn. So, like in the beginner step, where we did a Suzy Q spiral, so we went one, two, three, we keep back five, come forward, six, seven. 
This time we're going to do a turn instead. So we do the Suzy Q. One, two, three. You'll place your weight back five. Your left foot's all right. Six, seven, and then forward, two, three, and five, six, seven. So I'll just show you that from the side. So it's one, two, three, five, six, seven. So it's one, two, three, five, and around. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. That's my dog you can hear. She's just a puppy and she's been annoying. Shh, just watch. So, let me just show you that again. So we're going to do the CD cube. One, two, three. Now step back. You're going to, your centre is there, so you're going to place your weight on your centre. Use your shoulders, bring your feet together all the way around. Weight goes down onto your right foot. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. I'll do that again from this angle. So it's Suzy Q. So step back. Your weight's going to go over your centre. Bring your feet in together all the way around. Place your weight down. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. And just with regards to that turn, once again, bring that foot into there. Make sure your body doesn't go past your centre of balance. Your body comes to your centre of balance. And you use your shoulders, spin all the way around, place your weight down. And then forward, two, three, five, six, seven. Let's put that to music. This next step is called the forward open turn. So on this step we do a basic one, two, three, five, six, seven. We're going to go forward open. One, two, three, you can tap. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. So just quickly show you from this angle, when you step forward, forward, side, back and tap. Forward, side, back in tap. Forward, side, back in tap. Step, step, step. And then one, two, three, five, six, seven. So just to break that down for you, so when we're going forward, of course, you go forward on your left foot, off at an angle. So forward, go to the side, step back, and then balance for a tap. You can do that again. Go forward, go forward, go to the side, Go back and tap again. One, two, three, and tap. Now on this turn, what you're basically going to do is going to step there. Then your centre is going to be your left foot. So with your your weight there, so you're going to go five, six. So with your centre being that around seven. So as you can see when I did that step, so I just spun around. Weight centre on your left foot around. Seven, try not to fall on that balance. So not try not to go and seven into the step. So when you turn on your centre again, seven, and then one, two, three, five, six, seven. So let's just see that again. So we go forward, forward, side, back in tap, forward, side, back in tap, forward, side, back in tap, forward, balance around step. Five, six, seven, and one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let me just show you again from this angle. So it's forward, side, back, tap, forward, side, back, tap, forward, side, back, tap, forward, balance, around, and one, two, three, five, six, and seven. Let's try that to music.
this next step is called the rumba turns. So into the step, so if we do basic, two, three, and five, six, seven. We're going to the rumba. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three. So on the five, five, six, seven. And into the rumba again. Five, six, seven. Then we'll do it on the one this time. One, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three. So again, I'll show you from this side. So we're going to the rumba first. So one, two, three, five, turn, six, seven, back to the rumba, two, three, five, six, seven, this time on the one, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and rumba, two, three, and five, six, seven. So <clears throat> it doesn't really matter whether you turn on the one or you turn on the five, and then the opposite when you come back. So when you're doing this step, if we do the rumba first, one, two, and three, five, six, seven. So if we do on the five, two, three, what we're gonna do is we're gonna step, place your weight back onto your center, you see that? So we're gonna rock from there back to the center. As again, bring your feet in, okay? Don't use your foot to launch you. It's not your foot that turns you, it's your body that turns you. So you can bring your body around, bring your feet together, place it down, and then you carry on with the rumba to your one, two, three, five, six, seven. Let me show you that again. So it's one, two, three, five, six, seven, rumba. One, two, three, five, six, seven. Then you can do it on the one. So it becomes, now your left foot goes down and you rock back onto your right foot, bringing your feet in again, is that a step? And around, weight down, and then five, six, seven. So again, it's on the one this time, one, two, three, and then five, six, seven, one, two, three, five, six, seven. So let me just show you that again from this angle. So we do it on the five this time, one, two, three, on here, five, six, seven, and rumba, two, three, and five, then we'll do it on the one, one, two, three, and five, six, seven, and one, two, three, and five, six, seven. Now this is pretty quick when you're doing that to the music, so just make sure you don't push yourself too hard. You push yourself too hard and you will lose your balance. So it's always gentle. Keep the speed up, but just make sure, bring to the center, bring to the center, spin around, and then weight down back into the rumba. Let's try it to music.